Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a dash hand because I've had two requests to make one. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 17cm by 14.5cm or 6 and 3 quarter inches by 5 and 3 quarter inches, this medium dash hound crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm by 9cm or 3 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and a half inches. The small dash hound crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 8cm by 7cm or 3 and a quarter inches by 2 and 3 quarter inches. I'll be crocheting using Katona cotton today, so the size will be a bit bigger than this one, but I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 162 black coffee for my main colour, 179 topaz, 506 caramel and 110 black. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together and embroider on the eyes. For my smaller dash hounds I use a black bead but I can't find a black bead big enough for the bigger dash hounds. Now I'm starting at the bottom of the head there. I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I start with four chain. For row one, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet, put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring back a loop. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. Now we need a single crochet into each of the remaining two chain. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch. I've got five stitches. For row three, I start with one chain and turn my work. I work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have seven stitches. So I've worked two single crochet into the first stitch, then I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And I work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 4, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 7 stitches. For 
for row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Now for row 6, the work just dips in a bit, so we're going to work a decrease row. So we start with one chain and turn. We're going to work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. For a joined single crochet, put your hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on the hook, then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the three loops. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. I've got two stitches left. We work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. Row 8, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet up into the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch, Work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. And work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 9, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches.
Now we're going to start decreasing a bit towards the top of the head. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then we work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two stitches left. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have seven stitches. So after our first joined single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One single crochet into the next stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. And that's the head done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain, we don't turn our work and we work one single crochet into each stitch around our work. So just find a suitable place close to the edge to put your hook to work your single crochet and try not to pull it too tight so that your work stays flat. If your stitch started to bend back, you could work two single crochet into a stitch. Now I'm crocheting, crocheting over the top of this tail here, so I hold it against my work and just crochet over the top of it.
Now I'm back to the beginning of the row so I work a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch. I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook and fasten off. And that's the head done. For the dash hound right here, I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I work 11 chain. I work one double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch, the fourth from the hook, and bring up a loop. We've got three loops on our hook. Put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. Then we work two double crochet into each of the next two stitches. So two double crochet into the next stitch and then two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work three treble into the next stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble, put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. We've got four loops on our hook, then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops and then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And we need two more treble in that same stitch. That's just going to make our weir bend. Then we work one double crochet into the next stitch. Now we work one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. We need a half double crochet into the next stitch as well. And we work a single crochet into the last stitch. Then work one chain and slip stitch into that last stitch with the single crochet and fasten off. And that's that first ear done. For this left ear Using my 162, the black coffee, I work 11 chain.
I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. So I miss the first one and a single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Then we work a joined half double crochet over the following two stitches. For joined half double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring back a loop. Then yarn around the hook, put the hook into the next stitch and bring back a loop. Then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we're going to work two double crochet into the next stitch. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So two double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're going to work two treble into each of the following two stitches. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. So two treble into each of the next two stitches. Then work two double crochet into the next stitch. And one double crochet into each of the last two stitches. and fasten off. And that's the left ear done. Now for the inner ear, I've got my 179, the topaz, and I'm just going to work 13 chain, but I'm going to pull them quite tight and I'm going to leave a bit of a tail at each end to stitch it onto the ear. So 13 chain, quite tight. And fasten off leaving a longer tail. And that's the first inner ear. The second inner ear is work the same. Leave a longer tail and work 13 chain quite tight. and fasten off leaving a longer tail. Now for these face markings, they both work the same. I've got my 179, the topaz, and I work six chain.
I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook One single crochet into the next stitch Two half double crochet into the following stitch One single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off and that's the first face marking done The second face marking we work six chain we work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet into the next stitch Two half double crochet into the following stitch A single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off And that's the second eye marking done. Now for the nose, I've got my black, the 110, and I work five chain. I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and one single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off And that's the nose done. Now for these eye markings, they both work the same. I'm using 506 caramel and I make a magic loop. There's lots of ways to make a magic loop, so make it how you'd like. I like to just put my hook on the yarn, bring the short end over the hook and take the long end over the short end and then put the yarn around the hook and bring the hook with the yarn through the circle and that's my magic loop I work one chain and work one single crochet into my circle I slip stitch into the circle and work two chain I work one half double crochet into the circle and work two chain I slip stitch into the circle and then work two single crochet into the circle I pull the circle tight and join with a slip stitch 
in the top of that first stitch. And fasten off. And that's the eye marking. It goes that way. So we make a magic loop. And work one chain. We work one single crochet into the circle. Slip stitch into the circle. and work two chain. We work one half double crochet into the circle and work two chain. Slip stitch into the circle and then work two single crochet into the circle. Pull the circle tight and join with the slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. Now that's all the pieces for the head done. I'll be back with my 162 and we'll start on the body. I'll start on the body now. I start on the bit behind the head first. I've got my 162, the black coffee, and I start with 5 chain. For row 1, I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain. I'll have four stitches. For row 2, I start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of the 4 stitches. For row 3, I start with 1 chain and turn. I work 2 single crochet into the first stitch. One single crochet into each of the next two stitches. and two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, I start with one chain and turn. I work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I've worked five stitches into my last stitch. I work three single crochet. Now 
Now I'm going to work 14 chain. That's for the back. For row 5, I work 2 single crochet into the 2nd chain from the hook. Then I work 1 single crochet into each remaining chain, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch and I work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 23 stitches. So we work two single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row six, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 24 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For 
row 7, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 25 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 25 stitches. row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 10, we start with 1 chain and turn 
we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end we'll have 24 stitches Now we're starting on this black back leg now. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn, we work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch. For row 17 we start with two chain and turn and we work two half double crochet into each stitch. That's just for the foot. And we fasten off. And that's the body and back leg done. Now for the front legs we join a 162, the black coffee, three stitches on from the back leg. So 
that's the last stitch of the back leg so three stitches on and work one chain we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches so not the stitch where we've joined these next two stitches then we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 15 stitches. So after our joined single crochet, work one single crochet into each stitch till you have two left. I've got two stitches left so I work a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For row two we start with one chain and turn and we work one single crochet into each of the first 11 stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. We leave the remaining stitches. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 10 stitches so after our joined single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches and work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. Now we're starting on this front leg here. We start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. and work one single crochet into the next stitch. For row five we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our two stitches. For row six we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each stitch.
for row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. Then we work 4 chain. The 4 chain is for the foot there. For row 8 we miss 2 chain and work one double crochet into each of the next two chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. So one double crochet into each of the last two chain from the hook. Then we're going to work a joined double crochet over these two stitches. For a join double crochet, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch on the leg and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We've got two loops left, put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch on the leg and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops. We have three loops left on our hook. Then put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining loops. And that's the front leg done. We fasten off and that's the body and a front and a back leg done. I'll weave the ends in. This is my right side and then I'll be back with my 179 and I'll work this tummy part and then I'll work this other front leg. Now for this tummy part I've got my 179, the topaz, and I join it to the same stitch as the last stitch of the front leg. And I work two chain. I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as a chain. and then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Now I'm going to work one half double crochet into the back loop only of the next five stitches. So this is the back loop here, just in there. That's the front loop there and that's the back loop. So I'm going to work into these five back loops and I'm leaving these because I'm going to work this leg into the front loops. So one half double crochet into the back loop of the next five stitches. And you can see the front loops sticking up there a tiny bit. Now we're going to work one or two half double crochet into each of the next four stitches just down the side there. You often need two just round the slope.
Now we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the back leg. And then work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. And that's the tummy part done. We fasten off now, but I've left my scissors over on the couch when I did the, the ends off, so I'll have to fasten that off. Now the ends fastened off. Now we'll work this front leg now. So we join in the first stitch in the front loop there. So we've got our join, our two chain and our first half double crochet in the same stitch. And then we've got two stitches and then the first stitch there where a half double crochets worked in the back of the loop. We join in there. And we work one chain. We work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain, just in the front loop. And then one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. I find if I bend the tummy part back, it's easier to get your hook into that loop. So one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. And a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. And 1 single crochet into each of the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each of our 3 stitches. And for row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For bow 5 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches and one single crochet in the last stitch. And for bow 6 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work a joined double crochet over the two stitches. We put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn through two loops and we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn through all the loops. Now we're going to work another joined double crochet into that same stitch just to make the foot a bit thicker. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. 
Yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook into that last stitch again and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn through two loops, we've got three loops on our hook, yarn around the hook, take the hook with this yarn through the remaining loops and then we fasten off. So that's the body and the three legs done. This leg will be worked separately and the tail will be worked on the neatening row. So I'll weave in these ends so it's easier for you to see while I'm doing the neatening row and then I'll be back and we'll work a neatening row from this stitch here around we'll do the tail and then we work the neatening row around to here and we'll also meet in this other leg now for the neatening row i join my 162 the black coffee just in at the end of the tummy so just that stitch there and i'm going to work a slip stitch in each, each stitch around except for the tail. I don't want my work to be any thicker than it is. Sometimes I'd work a single crochet if it was okay for my work to be thicker. So a slip stitch I put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on my hook. And just find a suitable place to put the hook and work a slip stitch just go round the end of the back leg Now I'm going to work a slip stitch in each stitch up the back leg to about three stitches down from the back and we'll work the tail there. Now I'm going to work my tail in here. For the tail I start with 10 chain. I work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. one single crochet into each of the next two stitches do that one again
Now we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. And yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn through all the loops. And we're going to work another joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. That just makes the tail bend, bend in. And then we work one half double crochet into each remaining chain. And then slip stitch into the body. Now we're going to work a slip stitch into each stitch up the back around the neck and down around this front leg to the top of the leg there. So there's the tail and I'll just continue working my slip stitches and I'll be back when I get near to the end of the row. Now I'm back up to the top of that first leg there so I fasten off. I'll fasten off with a bit of a longer tail because I'll use that to stitch the leg down over the top of that tummy piece there. Now I also do a neatening row around this other front leg so I join in at the top there and work one slip stitch into each stitch around this other top front leg. And when I get to the top, I fasten off. And that's the body and three of the legs done. For this far back leg, I've got my 162 the black copy and I work five chain I'm starting at the foot part for row one I miss the first chain and work one single crochet into each of the last four chain For 
little by two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. Row 3 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches. For row 4 I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the first 2 stitches. We put a yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work 1 single crochet into that last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn, we work 1 single crochet in the first stitch and a joined half double crochet over the 2 stitches. For row 7 we start with 2 chain and turn, we work a joined half double crochet over the 2 stitches. and one half double crochet into that last stitch. And that's the far back leg done except for a neatening row. We start with one chain and we don't turn our work, it faces that way. And we work one slip stitch into each stitch around our work. And when we get to the beginning of the row, we fasten off. Now that's all the pieces worked. I'll weave in the rest of the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the body, the eye markings, the nose, the far back leg, the head, the face markings, the ears and the inner ears. The first things I'll do is attach the face markings to the head. They curve around there like that. I'll attach the inner ears to the ears with the tails. 
they go from the top just stitch down around to close to the bottom where they get to and I'll embroider eyes onto the eye markings I'll embroider them on that top part there this pointy part will be the bottom part that goes down into the eye marking part there so I'll do that and I'll be back the next things I'll do is attach the ears to the head in about there as evenly as possible and I'll attach the leg to the body just slightly higher than the other back leg so probably in there the next things I do is attach the nose in about there and I attach the eye markings in there the last things I'll do is embroider on these eyebrows and then I'll attach the head to the body just about there and then I'll be back to show you the finished dash hound and there's the finished dash hound the finished size is 13 centimeters by 12 centimeters or 5 inches by 4 and 3 quarter inches if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook Instagram Pinterest and Twitter the details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.